Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo, or uh, aka Carl Hungus712, or Hungus, or you know, whatever you want to call me. It's all good. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing you some uh, Ghost Kill Confirmed gameplay. This was uh, actually a pretty, pretty solid game for me. I'm, I'm going to be using the Remington, uh, Remington R5, I think it is. I go 30 and 4. I'm playing with my best friend, or one of my best friends, uh, Butt Ranger. So you'll see his name in the background, and I think he gets the game-winning kill cam, too. But today, I am I think I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, relationships, breakups, and, you know, getting back with an ex. You know, is that really, really necessarily a good idea or not? And, uh, you know, I figured this would be a good topic to talk about, because, you know, that's kind of what this time of, the, time of the year is all about. You know, Christmas, the holidays, you know, even, you know... I mean, let's be honest here, even when you're single, you still think about your exes once in a while, especially during this time of the season. A lot of the times, you know, that brings up old memories, you know, of the good times, you know. Unfortunately, we get that tunnel vision, you know, and we only think about the good when, in fact, you know, well, we broke up with that person for a reason, so, you know, should should we, you know, should you really get back together with that person? And, you know, to start off here, you know, with relationships... I haven't been in quite a, you know, I haven't really been in that many relationships. I, I think I have a pretty good understanding how they work, you know, uh, for the most part. Uh, I know that kind of sounds weird saying that, but, uh, you know, I've dated, I've actually dated quite a few people now. Uh, I, I didn't, didn't actually go on my first date until my second year of college up at Western Iowa Tech, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, uh, back in high school, I wasn't the most popular kid. I didn't have a ton of friends, just a few close ones. Um, I also worked a ton. I worked a ton. I bowled a ton. I danced danced for uh, my high school, uh, which, you know, was cool. You know, the chicks digged you. But, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't, you know, kept to myself, didn't really, I wasn't really an outgoing person, and I would have changed, you know, I changed that now. It's kind of one of those things, you know, I'd, I'd love to go back and change quite a few things back in my past, you know, make some different decisions, but, you know, you, you got to realize, you know, that, you know, there's just some things you can't change, and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because I, I really do like where I'm at right now in my life. I think I've got a good job, I've got a great education, I'm hoping to go on with that education here in the future maybe to law school but you know I'd really really like to get uh, my PhD but we'll see you know in time and uh, uh, basically getting back to my relationship talk um, you know that's the uh, first girl I ever dated uh, was up at uh, my community college my second year in second year in college uh, we you know we basically dated for I'd say a good month or so. It didn't didn't really go anywhere. I was pretty quiet and shy, and you know, it, it's kind of hard to you know get to know somebody when you when you're a quiet, shy person. You know, I didn't know. I fuck to, to be honest with you guys, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You know, I was you know I was a virgin in the dark, as my buddies like to say. But uh, you know, I didn't really know what the hell was going on, what to do, what to say. So you know, when you don't know what to say, you don't say anything at all, which typically makes things worse. Just uh. Just a little uh, heads up to you guys out there who are in the same position as me. Just be yourself, you know. I know that's pretty cliche, but if you're a dumbass, be a dumbass. You're going to be down the road anyways, you know, when you two get comfortable. So you might as well just throw it out there and see what happens. Um, breakups. I've uh, haven't, you know, like I said, I've dated quite a few people, so I've been through quite a few uh, breakups, you know. Or, uh, you know even sometimes not even getting getting quite to that point where you're in a relationship and you know that's not working you know let's part ways you know I've been on both ends of that you know um one girl I ended up dating my first year up at uh, Morningside College uh, ended up uh, that was a we had a really good relationship for the most part towards the end obviously it wasn't it wasn't where it needed to be and we parted ways but, uh, you know, that was a long-term, that was one of my really long-term relationships. We were together quite a while. Um, ended up buying her a promise ring. And, you know, I, I to be honest with you guys, I, I really thought I was going to marry this gal. Um, we were together for a long time. We seemed to, we seemed to fit each other long-term quite a bit, you know. I was a dumbass. She was okay with that. Uh, you know, she liked to, she liked to joke around. She was really outgoing and... You know, I wasn't the most outgoing person at that time. You know, again, being being kind of quiet. You know, I'm kind of quiet around people I really don't know. 
and you know, I think we I think we fit each other really well. You know, for me, when it comes to relationships, uh, you know, it's kind of like a puzzle. You know, you're trying to find somebody to fit. You know, you fit together with. But you know, in the end, we ended up not working out. We ended up breaking up, and you know, I was, I was so I was just getting ready to put money down on an engagement ring, believe it or not. But you know, I didn't quite get. Uh, you know, I'm, I guess I'm glad. You know, obviously, I didn't put money down on it. But you know, it was it was a good learning experience. You know, I love the girl. You know, more than anything, I can say that. But you know, it didn't work out. Uh, we don't talk anymore. But you know, that's that's okay. It happens. But uh, you know. It, that was a pretty successful, you know, relationship for the most part. Obviously, it wasn't in the end, but I went on and dated a couple other people. A friend tried setting me up uh, with a gal that was divorced. Uh, you can view that discussion in my <laughs> earlier videos. It was a, it was a pretty interesting night to say the least. Um, and lately, I've gone on quite a few dates too. Uh, none of them being successful. There was one gal. Uh, it's a good friend of my friends that I thought, you know, we'd be really good. You know, we were almost perfect together, and I don't like using that word too often. But, you know, we were. I thought we'd be. We were quite good with each other, but you know, she wasn't quite ready. You know, and that's 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 all right. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you got to make sure you're ready to move on from somebody. Uh, but uh, that's a little background uh, f with me, you know. But uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, should should you get back together with an ex? Is that necessarily a good idea? Now, the short answer, of course, is no. In my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea to get back with an ex. But being the philosophy major I am and having all the logic background and, and all that good good stuff, um, I'll give you my reasons why. A lot of people have asked me in the past, you know, would you would you get back together with the girl you, you know, were nearly engaged to? No, I wouldn't. And uh, one of the one of the big things with me in, in relationships, you know, a lot of people say communications, you know, a, a huge part. That's the biggest part of a relationship. That's what matters. And I agree, communication's a big thing. And others will say intimacy. And I know a lot of you think, oh, you know, that's, you know, what the what the hell are you talking about? There's, you know, that's that's not a major thing. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, if you're not being close to the person, if you're not, you know, getting all cuddly and all that good stuff, you know, relationships probably not in its best position. But for, you know, when it comes to relationships for me, I think the most important part is having that person that's there to uh, support you and be behind you no matter what happens 100% uh, of the time. And for me, when, when you have that person that's no longer there to fight, you know, to fight for you to fight for the relationship when you don't have that anymore there's there's no relationship and uh, what it came down to with me uh, like I said in my long-term relationships and some of my shorter term ones um, it got to the point where the other person or myself just you know just felt that it wasn't worth fighting for anymore and uh, for me when when you get to that point you know why would you want to take back that person or why would you want to take me back if it's gotten to the point, especially when you've been together with somebody for an ex a long period of time, now the girl I almost married, we were together well over a year, but, you know, especially people who've been dating three, four years, five years, ten years, when you've got somebody who doesn't want to fight for you, you know, that doesn't give a shit anymore, you know, why would you, why on earth would you, you know, why in the hell would you want to take that person back? And I've seen my friends go through stuff like this, you know, they, you know, you, you break up with a person, you know, and it's tough. And you get tunnel vision, you know, you, you get to that point where it's like, you know, hey, you know, uh, all I remember is the good times, you know, and they forget that, oh, well, you know, I dated this person for a couple of years and there might have been three, four or five months of good times and all the rest was shit. Well, you know, when you break up, you get to that point where it's like, you know, all I can remember is the good times instead of all those terrible times. So, you know, that's that's the big thing for me when it comes down to, uh, you know, when it comes down to relationships. When that person no longer, you know, feels like it's necessary to fight for you, to fight with you, you know, to, to be your support system, you know, that per you know that's that foundation, that, that, that point, you know, that, that solid foundation in your relationship, I, I you know... I, why would you want to get back with them? You know, and I've I've had people too where I've dated before, and I've even tried it too. You know, you you kind of you kind of feel it out, and you you know you you kind of say you know oh I kind of you know I miss I miss this you know I'm you know I kind of realize you know I fucked up, but you know it, it just gets to that point where you know 
you 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 gave up on that person. You gave up on the relationship. Why, you know, why in the hell would you want to get back together with that person? And that's kind of how it was with the with the girl. I like I said, I was almost engaged to. Um, you know, we we never had a rekindling or anything like that. But you know, I I remember breaking up in the beginning, thinking about all the great times and stuff. But you know, after you after you take off those rose colored sunglasses, you realize you know. Th that was the right the right decision was made you know you, you you know it's it ended that person felt like it wasn't worth fighting for anymore you know you weren't worth fighting for they didn't want to be with you they didn't want to support you and so on and so forth and i'm going to talk about one more thing too um, this is going to be a little long i'll probably have to add on a little bit but uh another thing i want to talk about too was you know m scott peck was uh, the road less traveled he wrote that book recommend it to all of you out there you know it, it talks about life talks about love talks about all kinds of things and he was real big on uh, his definition of love you know which comes into a relationship you know is you know extending oneself you know for the purpose of nurturing one's own or another's spiritual growth and you're probably saying well what the fuck are you talking about here you know what the hell you what the hell does this have to do with anything but for, for Peck, you know, his big thing on love, you know, which, you know, obviously is going to come in a relationship, especially when you've been together for years, is, you know, his idea of, of genuine love was, okay, this person is there to make you a better person and make themselves. They, they extend their will. So this is something that's completely altruistic. You know, they do, they're not doing this to get something from you. They're not doing this to, get, you know, get a piece of ass from you. They're, they're not doing this to get that, you know, new video game that they think you're going to buy because, you, you know, they supposedly love you. Um, they're doing this because, you know, they, they want you to be the best person you can be. They're doing that for them, so, you know, so they can also, in the process, be a better person. And that's, excuse me, but that's also getting back to it, you know. You know, why on, why in the hell would you want to get back together with somebody that didn't want to do that in the first place? Now all of a sudden you're gone, and, you know, they can't they can't deal with that. You know, they, they realize that, oh, well, you know, I don't have it easy anymore. Uh, I don't have this person to take care of me. I don't have this person that was, you know, trying to do good for me, you know, and I miss that. And they're thinking very egoistically. They're only worried about themselves, you know. So that's uh, these are the couple of reasons why, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys today in this video. And let me know if you if you like these kind of videos, my little rants here. Um, like I said, I've, uh, you know, I've had a lot of classes up at college that talked about stuff like this, which I find, you know, incredibly interesting. But, you know, let me know Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I'd like to do some high school uh, stories for you guys, too. Um, I think you'll find it funny. I was, like I said, I was kind of a, I'm not going to say a nerd in school, but I was kind of a loner, you know, didn't have a lot of friends, but I was always in the r right, or I was always in the wrong places at the right time. And uh, lots, of, lots of funny stories. I'd like to bring you guys some some uh, stories, you know, my high school stories and maybe some relationship stories because I've got a lot of, you know, funny moments to uh, to share with you guys. But, you know, let me know what you think. Again, like I said, you know, I'm not one for, I, I don't think you should get back with an ex. You know, I think once that's that relationship's ended, once you've both given up on each other, you know, why would you try to get back together again just for it to probably happen? You know, most people don't end up changing or if they change, it's for a very short period of time and they go back to their old ways. So, you know, again, I want to I wanna hear what you guys have to say about this. You know, I, I, I hope you like the video. You know, I always uh, appreciate comments and uh, questions, different things like that, uh, you know, because, you know, com or, uh, criticisms, you know, or, like I said, they make you a better thinker. They make you a better person. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, my logic isn't always perfect. But I'd like to know what you guys have to say about that. You know, this is a... This is a topic I've always found very interesting and wanted to share with you guys, you know, with the holidays. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. Looking forward to 2015, Treyarch, lots of other games, lots of other good times, lots of other good stories to share with you guys. Um, like I said, like, subscribe if you want to, comment, you know, that definitely helps me out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully I'll upload a video again this weekend for you, maybe some high school stories. Let me know. Thanks again. Bow out.